How's it going guys? This is TJ. So I'm going to be doing a test with these GMB batteries. This is a stock one for the King Kong 125 which I got. It's a 550 milliamp hour one. Rich Dervis, 80C, constant discharge, 160C, um, burst. So on throttle and dem more demand and you'll get 160C burst. I did buy some of these cheaper batteries, three of these for around 10, 11 pounds. Um, they're causing me the flip of death because I don't know if you can see that on camera. They're only 35C, they're 450 milliamp, so not too far off the 550. The C rating is not there, so it's just causing it to madly flip, you know, lose control and flip. But I stumbled across these ones from Hobby King and these are very close to the GMBs. They're 500 milliamp hour, not 550 milliamp hour. But the C rating is quite high and they're HV batteries. So for those of you who don't know what HV batteries are, they can charge to 4.35 volts per cell. So your normal two cell would be 8.4. These would charge to 8.7, but you can use them on a normal charger. I've got the IMAX. B6 charger, the Sky RC one. So this will still charge these to 8.4 and I'll still get good usage out of them because they're under charging if anything. So today will be a test. Gonna do some punch outs with them after showing you the GMB batteries, or battery, I should say. I've only got one battery. So I bought three of these to try. Hopefully they'll do well. I thought you might find it useful because at the moment, um, Banggood and Gearbest are not shipping to the UK for some reason, so I don't know what's going on there, maybe you know what's going on. But these are UK stock, so you know you haven't got the waiting time to China. And obviously for me, it's about 11 miles from where I live, so I drove out yesterday and picked these up. So yeah, the next video will be here, me testing them out, see how they go. They also have been messing with my VR006 goggles. I'll put a Bucky supply on there. I used this on my Hubson to actually step down the voltage from a 2S to allow me to use a balance plug on the 2S model for a all-in-one camera. So I'm gonna use a 2S battery with this, give me longer, well, give me longer recording times, basically with that DVR on. It doesn't last very long with a one cell. Even a high milliamp hour one, it doesn't last long, so it's another hack I've done. Okay, so let's do a few punch outs. See what this is like for a punch out with the GMB first. Just put, just arm it. And it's ready to go. So we're in angle. So this is the GMB batteries. I'm hoping that the Tanergy bolt ones are gonna match them. So that's a punch out. Just do another, just do another punch out. A little bit of wind here today. It's another punch out. So yeah, you can see what the GMB delivers. Go in acro. And do a few manoeuvres. The wind is hampering me a bit today, but... As you can see, Pretty punchy and acro. Acro is okay. Let's put it back into stabilized. So I'm going to land it there. Then we try some of these bolt batteries, Turnergy bolt. So I'll disarm it. Let's see how these other batteries go against these. I'm hoping I don't get the flip of death because that's what I was getting before with these smaller batteries I was using. So I'm now using these batteries onto the goggles now and make use of them on those. Okay, so I've now got one of the Turnergy Bolt ones. So I'm now going to power it up. They're basically the same size. 
These are a little bit bigger, but they're lighter. The GMB ones are 35 grams, and these ones are 32 grams. So I'm just hoping I don't see that. Out into this field a bit. Yeah. So yeah. No problems so far. And then, yeah, it's not bad. Just the same, really. So I'm gonna go into Acro now. See how it fares on Acro. Yeah. Nothing yet. So initial testing looks good. I was hoping these batteries would work fine with this. But you could use them on other mini FPV racers. It's not going to be a problem I would imagine because it's these are 65C constant discharge and 130C bursts. So yeah, was that 15, 15C off? But not not majorly out I mean 50 milliamp hour off the original so yeah it's looking good for these ones I'll be doing further testing FPV wise with them also but yeah they're performing very well so I needed more batteries to practice FPV acro. So I've now got four, giving me about, hopefully giving me about 20 minutes flying time. Instead of just five. But I'll see how much flying time I get with the Turnergy Bolt ones. See how they go. I'm hoping they'll get near to five minutes. Depends how you're flying really. How aggressive you're flying. You can see, it's doing acro fine, no problems yet. So when I used to bring them down, they'd be fine until I just, you know, let the throttle off, then they would, yeah, so they're fine. They don't do what those um, blue batteries done, which were 35C, where they actually just seem to just um you know cause the flip of death because they're not giving you enough c rating so that's the only difference there is these are 500 milliamp hour not 550 milliamp hour they're 65 c constant discharge and 130 c burst charge so they're not too far away from the gmbs they're five pound 11 pence at the moment so reasonable price so three of them were 15 pound I think Hobby King charge around four pound 48 for delivery which is not bad um, but like I say Banggood and Gearbest don't seem to have a shipping option for the UK so there must be some law came in or they're getting funny about shipping batteries to the UK but let me know in the comments if you do know what's going on but for me like I said I'm, I live near Hobby King it's not too far to go and postage is not bad they're pretty quick at sorting things out and getting them processed I think it took about a day I know a lot of you guys don't rate Hobby King but for me battery wise they're cheaper than China uh, I don't have to wait and I'm a, a fan of Turnergy batteries anyway but 4S uh, 3 4S and the Graphene Turnergy they sell those at very good prices when they come on sale I'll put a link in the description for these and I'll be doing more flying with this and the Turnergy bolt but so far, yeah, pretty impressive what they're delivering. This is TJ.